Hey everyone, welcome back to the SI Program YouTube channel. Once again, please make sure to subscribe so you can catch our videos every Friday. In this video, I will show you how to solve some Henderson, Hasselbach, and pH related problems. In about 5 minutes, you should have a greater understanding of the concepts involved and how to apply them. Feel free to work along with me and pause as needed. If you need more help, please check out Campus Wire or ask your SI leader. To start, to calculate for pH and pOH, you must memorize these three equations and know how to apply them. Please write them down. We're going to go over an example in a minute. You might also wonder why 14 is the total of pH plus pOH. It's because the concentration of hydrogen ions times the concentration of hydroxide ions always equals 10 to the negative 14, which is the Kw of water. Let's start out with this problem. Calculate the pH of a 4.2 times 10 to the negative 2 molar potassium hydroxide solution. Potassium hydroxide dissociates in water to K plus and OH minus. So, now that you've seen the equations and written them down, which ones do you think we'll need for this problem? I'll let you take a second to think about it and figure it out. If you said pOH equals negative log OH, you're right. You can use this because it dissociates into hydroxide ions. First, insert that number into the equation and plug it into your calculator to solve. Please note, you need to become familiar with the Arnold calculator as it is your only calculator allowed on the exam. Now, plug this pOH into your main equation to solve for that main pH value. You're going to isolate that equation until you get your final answer. Once you subtract 14 minus that number, you should get 12.62. It's as easy as that. Now you know how to solve for pH. Here's some other helpful things that you might want to know moving forward. Let's talk about acid-base equilibrium and the pH scale. Sometimes you don't need the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to solve math problems for the concepts. In acid-base equilibrium, a weak acid or HA can donate a proton or H plus to form its conjugate base A minus. The pKa value represents the equilibrium constant for this acid-base reaction, indicating its strength of the acid. Now, here are some tips based on this concept to solve other problems with different values. First, when the concentration of conjugate base, or A- is higher than that of the acidic form, or HA, the system is shifted towards the basic side. In this scenario, the pH of the solution is higher than the pKa value. The excess of A- decreases the concentration of hydrogen ions, leading to a higher pH. Conversely, when the concentration of the acidic form, or HA, is higher than that of its conjugate base, or A-, it means the system is shifted towards the acidic side. In this case, the pH of the solution is lower than the pKa value. This is because of the excess HA increases the concentration of hydrogen ions, resulting in a lower pH. Now that we know the concepts and how to remember them, let's see if we can apply those mathematical concepts using the henderson hasselbach equation for a couple of examples. Here's our first example problem. Take a second to pause the video and try and solve it yourself. Alright, now, what equation are we first going to use? If you said pOH equals negative log OH, you're right. Plug in the OH ion concentration into the equation and plug it in. Once you do this in your calculator, you should get 6.42. Now, let's bring back the total equation. We're going to plug in our pOH again to solve for pH. Subtract 6.42 from 14, and you'll have your answer. You should get 7.58. Once more, you'll have to know how to do this using the honor law calculator for the exam. So make sure you take the time to check it out. This problem's a little bit more tricky. Read it closely and pause this video so you have time to try and figure it out. Once you're ready, come back and I'll go over how to solve for the answer. We're going to start with the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. First, you should identify your variables in the problem. It looks like we have a pH of 6, which I underlined in yellow. We also have a pKa of 3, which I underlined in green. Now, you're going to want to subtract 3 from the right side and left side of the equation. You should be left with 3 equals log A minus over HA. Now we must cancel out the log. To rid the equation of logarithms, raise both sides to the same exponent as the base of the logs, which in this case is 10. 
Now you should have 10 to the 3, or 1,000, equals a minus over ha. This fraction to the right side is a ratio to that of deprotonated base, or a minus, over protonated acid, or ha. 10 to the 3 in ratio form can be rewritten as 1,000 over 1. Simply, this means that there is a ratio of 1,000 deprotonated base over 1 protonated acid. Let's analyze it one more time. Remember, HA is out of the protonated form, and that's what we're looking for. We know that 1,000 signifies the deprotonated base, as I'm circling right here. But we're looking for HA, which is that of 1. So, you know that 1 over 1,000, or 0.1%, is protonated. And that's it. Make sure to check out Dr. Pirich's practice problems for some more examples. Be sure to check out our next video on Friday for some more content. Be sure to contact your SI with any questions or concerns. We'll see you then!